as you've heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In today's episode, we're back here at Karakar Bazaar. I'm trying to find my way into the Gerudo City, but I'm not really sure exactly what we have to do. I think it has something to do with this, this huge upward draft. We sort of talked to these characters before, um, but I think really, if we just want to get going a little bit more, follow this path, we need to go up. Will this work? Whoa, it will! All right, whoa, but I can't see anything really up here. Let's try to get to this. I do sort of see some people for a moment, but then it goes away. This sandstorm is pretty intense. But luckily we're not like taking damage from it or anything. Okay, I got up here. We're in an unbearable heat situation. So this is probably where I need to eat some food, but I guess for right now we can at least uh, get these pants uh, and I guess get our normal shield and stuff. Still isn't quite enough. So if we take a look at our potions, don't we have some heat resistant stuff? I sure hope so. Here we go. So we'll do this one. That'll last for six minutes. That's plenty enough for now. So our stamina gets back. Whoa, so from up here, I can see a little bit more, but then it goes away again. Weird. Okay, let's try to go down here then. Will there be monsters down here? Like, what's gonna be going on? Get that full fruit, get another one. What is that? What, what is that? Gibdo? Uh. Oh, it's spooky. Uh. Oh, it noticed me. I don't like it. Uh, boom, got you good there. Come on, let's beat this thing up before it gets back up because it is so scary. Oh no, oh no, I need a stronger weapon. Um, let's try the Flux Core 2 Pounder. Oh, that doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Uh, help me out here. Oh, there we go. That helped a lot. Okay. Um, oh, whoa, it's just, just bones now. That was bizarre. Where did it drop? It dropped something. Um, we got the Gibdo Bone. Whoa, so a new type of enemy here. Horrifying. We get the Gibdo guts, the dr dried guts of a defeated Gibdo. It's said they're effective, vitality rich ingredients that are useful in elixirs, as well as the Gibdo bone, a creepy bone with multiple sharp tips. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It tends to break easily due to its odd shape. Huh. We also have um, some shock fruit. Guess we won't find uh, Addison out this way. <laughs> For better or for worse, are we going the right way? It's like impossible to know. I mean, there is a shrine, but are we going that way? That's sort of the problem, we don't really know. Desert Rift in Gerudo Desert. Whoa, it goes down. Oh man. So there's a lot to explore around here. This is crazy. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what to do, where to go. Oh, here's some more of them. Oh, and you have a sword poking out of your back too? Let's try to get you. Where, where's a... Uh... Here, there we go. And maybe we should combo up with Sidon. Sidon, help me out because we want to fight them again. Okay, I'm running over, running over. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Ooh, that instantly destroyed you. Gotcha, so we really want to use the power of our elements here. That really seems to do a good number on them. We also have a sword here if I needed it, but I don't really at the moment. Crazy. The problem is I'm sort of lacking direction at the moment for obvious reasons. So are we gonna actually be able to get anywhere with this? This looks like it's a dead end. But I guess we could ascend upwards just to get a good idea of what's going on. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, I'll take that. What's inside of here? Knight's Broadsword. I think I've seen this, I don't know. Knights of Hyrule once carried the sword, even in its decayed state, it shows its true resolve in desperation and can yield powerful attacks when you're down on to your last heart. So maybe we'll drop a soldier's claymore. I don't know if we've taken a picture of this one. We're gonna find out right now. Just go like this and we have. So, I mean, it's better than just a normal blank sword, I suppose, but it doesn't look like there's that much more to do around this way. So we'll head back into the other direction and see if we can't find anything more. The clock is sort of ticking for us too because of the uh, heat resistance, but we do still have a little bit more heat resistant food right there and right there. So I think that's enough for us to get some good exploration in. Oh, there's a yellow, yellow chew, which I don't know if we've, electric chew chew. We have taken a picture of them before but with them busted. Is there anything cool in here? Not really. Hard to tell though until we're a lot closer to things, just exactly what's going on. Oh, here comes another one. 
So I think seeing deals before, let's get our friends over, you know, Bo? Help me out, just send them flying backwards. And then Sidon's attack seems like it finished it, it, it off pretty well. Oh wait, you know what? Let's go for you instead, boom. Okay, this time it was not, but it seems to have like this weakened state where we can really unleash on it, for sure. Okay, which one of you guys wanna help me out here? Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Very cool. I got this next arrow, but look, there's another one. Okay, wait, wait, help me out. Oh, gotcha. See, that was a one hit takedown. Interesting. Some extra vault fruit to grab. So these enemies might be scary in appearance, but so far they're not actually that hard to deal with. So that's nice. If we didn't have our friends, that'd make it a lot more challenging for sure, but don't have to worry about that. And it looks like that's the dead end for this side too. So we'll send up here. And where will this lead? Um, we're almost to the top. There's an, oh wait, wait, I was gonna say there isn't really anything here, but there is a treasure chest waiting for us right here. This is a Knight's Halberd. Now the key this Halberd was made for the Knights of Hyrule. I think we've read all that before. It has plus eight attacks. Definitely worth dropping something for it. Very cool. So I'll go attach that to something really strong to just make it a super effective weapon. So we're back out here. That was cool, but I don't know. Are we even going the right way? Is this the way we plop down from? I think it was over there. What is that? There's a little bit of like a red streak over there. I don't know what that could be. There's more of these bad guys walking around though, and what do you think you're doing? Get out of here. Grab all that. Just really trying to take a good look around. I really don't know if I got turned around and all that. I'm going the right way. We might go through here and just end up at Karakura Bazaar again. Okay, for now, let's get over here and fight these two. I have the ability to, I really should just try to. Oh, that didn't do as much this time. Uh, oh, the two for one, that was good. Run over here quickly while they're still uh, just all bony and finish them off. Cool. Got all of that. Back over here, some extra goodies. Cool. The electricity from the choo-choos are probably my best bet for figuring out where to go. What is that? That's a cactus. Okay, I was getting freaked out that there's gonna be another scary enemy. An oil jar sitting here too. Can I get a picture of that? No. I will pick this up and then drop it. I don't even know what we use oil jars for. I guess I'll figure it out sooner or later. Break the barrel maybe? There it is. What are these? Oh, they're the hydromelons. Those to be very useful for sure. And it's 5.50 p.m. in the game, so hopefully it'll become nighttime soon so we don't have to worry about the, the heat resistant as much. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. We get some extra fruit out of that. And this. And then there's another upward draft. What is that thing? Uh-oh, there's another new enemy way over here. It is a... It is a moth gibto, oh my goodness. So I guess we'll fight that in a moment. Uh, right now, I wanna see what's over here. It looks like there's some kind of cave or something. It's a building at least, so maybe I can head up from here. Just like that. Ooh, okay, yeah, we got, what is, that must be Hyrule Castle back that way. Okay, first things first, we're about to run out of heat resistance. I'm going to go ahead and get Hmm, I think this one. Which one will give me the least amount of time? These are all four minutes, that's four minutes. We'll, we'll do this one then. There we go. But that's actually a good thing to keep me on track. If that's Hyrule Castle with the little red streak over there, that means that if I'm heading this way, I'm heading away from Hyrule Castle and towards what I'm trying to get to. Oh, and is there a Korok seed here? This is crazy. I guess there is. Um, No, 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 don't fall, don't fall. What are you doing, Link? I'm just trying to interact with it. Oh, it's a spring cube thing. Let me use this to get myself up. Just like that, and then hit it. Whee! Whoa, and we get a really good view of everything from up here. We're getting closer. Awesome. Okay, I wanna do something with this. There we go. And I think I just need to uh, grab it or something. I forget how this works. It's not going so well for me. Okay, uh, maybe I can just let it fall next to me. No, 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 come on, grab it. Did that not work? What am I supposed to do with it again? I forget. 
Oh, can I get inside of this building? I think I can. So I'll have to figure that out too. Okay, this time I got it. That's all I was trying to do before, but it was so awkward. Okay, so we get that Korok seed. That's our ninth one. So how am I getting into this building? There's gotta be a switch or something to press around here. I would hope. I'm not really seeing too much though. And this just leads up there. Odd. I mean, it might not even be around here. It might be somewhere else. So maybe we leave it for now. Oh, there's some mushrooms we can grab. We can get a height boost out of this one over here, this little upward draft. What happened to the moth gib though? It's right over this way. I do want to flight at least one of these guys. Gotcha. Okay, friends, where are you? I need your help. Just knock them back a little bit and then one more shot should do the trick. There it is. Whoa, who threw that? Oh, now it's cold. So we switch our gear to um the pants again. We should be fine. So we do get new stuff from that. This is, uh, I don't know. Uh, the Gibda wing, a wing that catches the light. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Nice. And then um, give the guts, which we're pretty familiar with getting at this point. We're getting closer to something, that's for sure. I wanna take this upward draft because that way we can actually see where we're going. All of our stamina come back and then up we go. Once we're up here, you can see we're getting really close. Oh, look, there's a little sea lion too. Or whatever they're called, they're not sea lions, they're sand lions, sand seals, that's it. Hi. Okay, well, I scared them off, that's okay. I just wanted to get a good look at them. Can I get a picture? Oh, I can get a picture of the sand seals. Whoa. Got it. Perfect. I think we're getting closer to Gerudo Town. We did it. The Gerudo Desert has finally been explored. That was tough. We found our way through, the thing is, we can't just waltz in. That's not allowed, right? Or maybe it is. Oh, this place is a ghost town. The Gibdos are all over the place. I don't think I'll have my friends to help inside. I'll have to be a lot more careful. So if Sidon normally helps with these guys, I wonder if I could just throw something at them. Maybe like the, uh, Splash fruit? I should have some, somewhere. We have a lot of stuff to throw. Maybe I don't have any. Did I pass it? I must have passed it. Okay, have some right here. Oh, that helped. Nice, that gets it for sure. So we can knock out some of those pretty fast with that. It all looks so familiar from when we explored it in Breath of the Wild, but much more dangerous now. Oh, I missed you. Okay, I'm just gonna keep throwing these at you. If it works, it works. Gotcha. Nice. Cause I don't think our friends pop up in little cities like this. What do we do around here then? I'm not quite sure. Oh, there's a little note. Note on the table. Construction and service notes in regard to work on the hole in the floor. Due to a lack of resources, a large stone slab has been used to temporarily seal the hole in the floor. Oh, you mean this one. So there's something under here? Whoa, there's a lot under here. What is this about? We're just under the city right now. Is that a little critter? Our album is full, it's not, but it's a message in a bottle. What is this about then? Um, How do I get it? Do I need to break it? Wait, examine, examine. There we go. It's you, at long last. You, the Vo reading this letter, are the Vo I was fated to meet and I'm the Vi you were destined for. You must hurry and rescue me. I'm locked away from the outside world. Do not worry though. I will send all of my love to you until you, you come and find me. Stay safe and know that we will meet soon. It is our destiny after all. Caliban. And there's another note over that way, okay. Uh, I'll have to get a little bit closer or wait for it to come to me, I guess. And there's more. Maybe they're the same note over and over again, just so that whoever finds it can get it. Let's see. Does this one say anything different? It's you at long last. Um, no, okay, so it's, it's the same thing as before. Guess they're busy writing a lot. Oh, they're dropping it off right over here. So maybe we'll actually be able to find a friend. What is that? Uh, I don't know. Huh, weird. Oh, it's like a pot. 
because we're in a well right now, aren't we? So whoever is writing those letters should be right up this way, right? Oh, uh, hi. Am I gonna get in trouble for popping out of here? Hello, uh -huh. a Vo, there's a Vo here, stop him. Oh no, sorry, it was all misunderstanding. I'm just trying to help. Oh no. Are we just gonna get kicked out? Vo are not permitted to be here. You must leave at once. Sorry, I'll, I'll be going. Oh. Hold on. Oh. We know you, right? Blur, 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 Bloria? Bloria? It has been some time, swordsman. It's all right. This one has the chief's permission to enter, and he's welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word, let everyone know that this is the case. Oh. For you to come here all this way, and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Well, we definitely do. Mm -hmm. The Princess of Hyrule is still missing? We had heard of the events of At Hyrule Castle, but this, things are dire indeed. Still, Swordsman, I mean Link, I'm impressed you made it here through the storm that surrounds Grudo Town. Mm. That, that sand shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent out patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but a swarm of monsters, creatures called Gibdos, suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos have even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to this shelter for their safety. As someone charged with protecting Grudo Town, I'm ashamed at our current situation. This is all to say that, although I wish I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become the strong enough to save us from this disaster. I hope, I, if you are hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. Riju of Gerudo Town. So here we are in Gerudo Town. Gerudo Town has been beset by an ominous sand shroud, forcing the people here to retreat to an underground shelter. Chief Riju, however, was nowhere to be seen. Fortunately, Boliara, is how you pronounce it, I think, informed you that the Gerudo leader has gone to the North Gerudo ruins to train. So we'll definitely track this one. And I figure we'll probably run around here a little bit. Bulliara's profile has also been added. A strong warrior who guards Chief Riju. She is familiar with Link from his previous visits. One glance at her giant claymore deters most troublemakers. Her concern for Riju is one of the few things that softens the stern demeanor she shows her soldiers. Very cool. So, I guess we'll start taking a look around here. We can also talk to you. Oh. What? Hurry up and get moving already. Jeez. Are all Vo as slow as you? Vo? Uh. You should know this. Vo means man in Gerudo. Maybe you need to write it down? Vo? Oh. You still don't get it, do you? In that case, uh. I'll whack into your thick skull with my spear. Vo means a man in Gerudo. Got it? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Maybe uh. you're nicer? Blonde. No abs. Not a I. I am not in the habit of allowing Vo to pass by me, but you are a special case. No. You may pass. Uh, where could she be? What's wrong? Um. Where did the owner... Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, you're the chief's guest. Hmm. So this is a Vo. He, his ears look to be about the circumference of his head and neck. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, you're the first foe I've ever seen. I got a little carried away figuring out your measurements. Oh. Why was I doing that? Because I make accessories, and the key to any good accessory is the perfect fit. My name's Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a bow. So if you give me the chance, I'll put everything I've got into making some really great ones for you. Mm. If this shop's owner were here, she probably could have made you all sorts of things. But she went out to look for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such high spirits, too, gushing about all the treasure she'd find around the Taruma Dunes. That's a dangerous place, though. Well, do get territory. I hope she didn't run into trouble. The missing owner. So I'll definitely have to look into that one. Uh, anyway, did you need something? The owner may not be here, but I'll do what I can. Uh, accessories? Uh, different gems offer different kinds of protection. When you wear one, it bestows that protection on you. For example, a ruby has the power to make a bitter chill bite less, or you could avoid the oppressive heat with a sapphire. Uh, Customers used to have a, a, to supply the materials for an accessory, made to order if a bit of extra work. But that's not the case anymore, thanks to the gems we've been getting from Elden up in the Northeast Hyrule. 
and we just make the accessories in advance and save the customer the legwork. There is a slight difference in price though, but that's to be expected. Unfortunately, the sand shroud has made it tough to get supplies. The stock is of the highest quality, just a bit limited. <laughs> you know, I never would have thought I'd talk to a Vo for so long. It's kind of neat. Since I'm always in the workshop making accessories, the owner is usually the one who gets to talk to the customers. The owner? Oh. The owner of this jewelry shop is a vine named Isha. I only make accessories, but the owner is owner's a well-regarded artisan and has even served as armorer to Lady Riju. Mm. If Isha were here, she probably could have made you all sorts of things. Last I saw her, she was telling me all about how she planned to scour the Taruma dunes for adornments. She left in high enough spirits, but she still hasn't come back. And the dunes are Moldulka, Molduga? Mold, yeah, I think Molduga territory. Uh, so I can't even go look for her. <laughs> I never get the chance to talk to Vo, so ask me questions whenever you want. Okay, that's all I have. Come back soon. We're the only place in the whole world that makes these, the, that makes accessories. Very cool. So let me see really quickly that quest, the missing owner. Kara, the jewelry shop worker, is troubled. It seems the shop's owner went out into the desert to find dormants and has yet to return. She told Kara that she would be searching the Taruma Dunes. Gotcha. Oh, hi, it's a Vow. Hey, so you're a special Vow, aren't you? Otherwise, the soldiers would be arresting you right now. So why are you special? Hey, Dahlia, you'd better not be speaking to that foe. Didn't Miss Ashai teach you the first rule about foe? For young Vi, speaking to it with a foe will only invite misfortune. <laughs> I'm not talking to the foe, I'm just talking. I can't even see, so it's not my fault who comes walking by. <sighs> Ugh, that doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Listen up, foe, you shouldn't go poking your nose into Gerudo life. You're free to come and go as you wish, but please don't disrupt the peace of our town. All right, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's see who else we can talk to around here. It looks like we have you. Distractions. Uh -huh. What, what do you want? I'm I'm busy right now, okay? I need to make sure the foe of my dream is here is my feelings for him. But how can I properly focus on the positive energy or put the bottles in the water while this guy is loitering around? I'm the one who found the bottles. Get out of here, scram. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I bring one of the bottles back to you, would that work? I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, for right now, we'll talk to you. Hi. Uh, ugh, I can't believe the chief is letting you stay in the shelter. She must be playing some kind of joke. You just worry about what fruit you're going to buy and don't even think about distracting my daughter from her studies. Mm -hmm. It'll be 16 rupees. Um, I'll pass. Yeah. Okay, can we talk to you directly? Uh -huh. Was I not clear before? Even though the chief gave you special permission to be here, don't think for a minute that means I, I, I like you going around, poking your nose into Gerudo life. My daughter is being responsible and diligently attending the Vo new class. Don't you distract her. A uh, Vo new class? Mm. It's a class that Ashai teaches. It's for all the young Vi in Gerudo town so they can learn about Vo. Class is held in a cave next to the goddess statue, but I tend the shop and can't walk my daughter, Dahlia, there. She takes after me though. Smart as they come, she can handle walking to and from class by herself. Mm? Hey, don't even think about following her to the class, understand? What, did you still need something? Eh. Nope, I'm good. Don't forget what about what I said about my daughter. Okay, I'll leave that be. Over here, there's a lot of stuff too. Do I have pictures of all these? My album's full, so I guess I should deal with that first, but it looks like I do have pictures of everything. So I guess we'll talk to some of these merchants too. So you're the Vo the Chief has given special permission to? Why would the Chief make a special exception for you, hmm? I wonder. <laughs> Ooh, but I have, I love a good mystery. In any case, if you're planning to help the chief, you've got to keep your energy up. And mushrooms are perfect for that. Do you have any idea how common they are and how many nutrients they contain? You should buy some, either to eat right now or to save for later. I definitely will soon. The chief is quite the vi. Good luck keeping up with her. And we've met her before. Hey, you recently arrived, right? Does that mean the sand shroud has finally died down? Uh, not quite. Oh, hang on. Now that I really look, I can see all the sand covering your clothes. What was I thinking? If the sand shroud really was gone, I doubt everyone would still be hanging around. Ugh, sorry. I asked you a question, and then immediately went on my own little journey here, there. Ever since the sand shroud started, I haven't been able to see my husband. It's left me a little frazzled. I hope ah. you can find your husband soon. I know my stock is pretty limited, but here's a tip. You can make an excellent meal just by adding a mushroom to some Hylian rice and rock salt. Cool. Is that everybody in this room before we move on? I think so. Oh, there's one more merchant, or two more people. Actually, a lot more. 
Uh, for what left? Sava. Hmm. Oh, you must be the fellow everyone is talking about. Say, are Haile and Vo interested in archaeology? Some of them. What it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I finally deciphered the, the stele. Eh? Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? Of course. Oh. If you insist. Stele. <laughs> Whoa, oh, these. First up, the stele over here on the left. It says, the seven heroines who protect their Gerudo, their secret will be expressed on six stele. And then I guess this might be one of them. As for the stele over there on the right, it says, the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, an eighth channels and guides the powers of these seven. Ah. I doubt you know this, but being a Hylian Vo, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. Mm. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Mm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigma enigmatic figures. Some argue for revering all seven as collective, and others for worshiping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there were not seven but one, or eight. If there is one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. <laughs> I guess so. But these delay definitely support the theory of eight. An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say that I changed the face of archaeology. But if I found the other force delay, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. I wonder too about this orb that I found while searching for the stele. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I gave the presentation on all this, I'd be the star of the archaeology society. Mm. But I have not been able to find any stele besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. Huh. How I wish I could see the text inscribed on this stele. Even just a picture would serve my purposes. I would definitely help you with that, the heroine's secret. A Gerudo archaeologist named Mortana told you that there are stele hidden in the shelter with information about the seven Gerudo heroines, and that she would like to see pictures of their contents. Only by finding all of the stele can you piece together the heroine's secret. You must still find four stele. So I'm guessing taking a picture of these doesn't really help me too much, but we'll definitely look around for them. We also have a few more people to talk to. Are you surprised to see such a hip shop being run by some, someone my age? I heard the new big thing is attaching all kinds of stuff to arrows before you shoot them. As a merchant, I've got to embrace the popular trends with open arms. However, Ugh. under no circumstances will I introduce a foe to my granddaughters. Foe will bring nothing but misfortune to young Gerudo. <sighs> I hate not being able to see the moon. I'm ready to save Savork to this place. So will they even let me talk to them? I'm gonna be an amazing buy. Just you wait and see. I'm sure you will. I will get into the class, just you wait and see, tomorrow. So there's some kind of class going on. Oh, and here's the um, the statue that we can pray at. What do we want to get this on? Do we have enough points? I think we do, yeah, we do. So we'll just get an extra heart container and an extra stamina vessel. That sounds like a good plan. So here's our heart container. Quite a lot of hearts at this rate. I think this is our last one of this bar, and then we'll start like a new health bar below it, if I'm not mistaken. Guess we'll see in just a moment. So there is our heart container, just as it's been before. Okay, so there's that. Let's also get a little bit of extra stamina. And I think with this one, we'll be at one and a half full wheels. Pretty cool. And there's still a lot more to do around here at Gerudo Town, so I definitely want to explore. Okay, stamina vessel obtained. Oh, actually a little bit more than one and a half. Looking good. So we'll definitely have to complete whatever shrines we find. So this is maybe the class they were talking about. Hi, let's talk to the instructor. Oh, oh you're that special Vo the guard was talking about. My name is Ashai. I'm in charge of teaching the Vo and you class to the Gerudo. <laughs> have you set your heart on someone special? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we've set our heart on saving Zelda. So I guess that counts on something. Zelda's definitely special. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hold anything back, do you? Most Fi value honesty in it, though. That's a good trait for you to have. <laughs> you're welcome to sit in on a lesson, if you're interested. Vo aren't normally allowed in town, so it would be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe once, maybe, maybe you could come by in the evening? That class is for the older Gerudo. The daytime class is for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a Vo. Okay, well, I mean, we are sort of really late in the evening. It's 12.50 a.m. Uh, Vo, 
There's one right there. Or right here. I can't do this. I have to focus on the lesson. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, wait, this, this is ruining my concentration. How am I supposed to focus on the lesson now? What's with this foe? Why does he keep looking at me? This is Renee. Okay, so now they're gonna say the same thing. Saba. Oh. You really are a special though, aren't you? You must truly adore Lady Riju if you were willing to travel through the sand shroud. Mm. I wish I had a foe like you in my life. Oh. <sighs> I thought I could turn my back on past loves and focus on finding the perfect foe for me. But that sand shroud really put a damper on my motivation. Talk about being unlucky in love. I guess so. Oh. No. Ah, I sighed again. Someone told me that sighing just drives the happiness away. That's the last thing I need. Oh. <sighs> if there were a foe in the town, then I could at least try and find my true love without leaving. Oops, I sighed again. <laughs> All right, well. Mm. Now then, when you notice a foe watching you, mm. I remember what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to, nope, I'm drawing a blank. Even after all the Vo new classes, as soon as I'm in a real world situation, all these lessons just vanish. I knew I should have spent more time practicing. No, I'm sorry. Now then, when you notice a Vo watching you, I remember what I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to, nope, I'm drawing a blank. Okay, so, nothing more there. Are these like fake Vos? They sort of look like us. <laughs> About our height, interesting. So can I just like, you know, sit here and take a lesson? Just like this? I don't think this works. Okay, interesting. What's going on up here? Can I read these? I guess not. So maybe we'll come back some other time. For right now though, whoa, what's going on in here? Sub. I guess it is true. I heard the guards talking about it, but I still didn't believe a foe was actually here. I'm impressed. You made it all the way here, through the sand shroud. Oh, oh did you rent a sand seal to get here? I actually didn't, nope. <laughs> what? But if he didn't rent one, no, he couldn't have found a wild one. That sound tra sand shroud has made it almost impossible to track them down. Does that mean he walked? Huh, that's even harder to believe than him finding a wild sand seal. Oh, you vo, are you all of you such pranksters? You obviously must have rented one from the shop near the entrance to the desert. It's the only answer that makes sense. <laughs> Sark so for your business. My mom and I are in the business of training sand seals and renting them out to folks. The sand shroud has made it far too dangerous to, be, to go above ground right now, so my shop is temporarily closed. But if you got questions about sand seals, I'd be happy to answer them. Huh. So maybe we can ask you some more questions? The sand seals can sense the unease in the air, so I'm trying to give them constant attention and care. I'm not too worried about the ones here. They're plenty safe. It's the wild sand seals out in the desert that I'm worried about. I hope they're okay in the sand shroud. Sand seals are special animals that live in the Gerudo Desert. I'm sure you've noticed that your feet getting stuck in the sand when you walk across the dunes, right? Well, not only did these little ones call the desert their home, but they breezed through the sand or bruised through it with ease. That's only one reason that they're vital to our way of life. <laughs> and they're, they aren't easy to catch and train either. It takes a lot of work. Luckily, folks like me are happy to do it. I'm proud of the sand seals I've trained and I'm happy to rent them to travelers. Wild sand seals? Uh, yep, you'll often see them if you're out wandering in the desert. But they're extremely wary creatures. If they notice you, they'll also flee faster than you can save Vasak. Of course, I've mastered the art of stealth. I can easily sneak up on them very, very slowly. So of course we can crouch and do the same thing. <laughs> Even if you manage to get a hold of a wild sand seal, the moment you let those reins drop, that sand seal is done with you and heading for the dunes. Most folks don't want to go through all the trouble. So they just rent one instead. Mm. I hope the sand shroud clears up soon. I can't make a living if I can't run out the sand seals. I hope so as well, but maybe that's something we can help with. We've already gotten a picture of a sand seal earlier today. Oh, look at the little, little sand seal toy, that's cute. There's even more out this way. Whoa, okay, should I go? Mm. I hope the chief is okay. Maybe I should go after her, but I'm just the attendant to Patricia. I would be acting against her wishes too. If I were to go though, I could just go through here. It comes out of the Northern Ruins and that's where the chief was headed. Patricia? Ooh. Ah, my apologies. Oh. Patricia is the chief's beloved sand seal. You've heard of the sand seals, right? They're desert creatures that can navigate the dunes with amazing ease. And Patricia is a very special one. She seemingly has the power of an oracle, oh. or she did. Ever since the upheaval, she's mostly been sharing these strange numbers. I've been her attendant for years now, but even I can't make sense of this turn of events. Ooh. She's off with the chief right now. 
They headed out to the northern ruins. If you want to speak with Pat Patricia, you'll probably have to wait until things have settled down and the chief isn't so busy. Northern ruins? The chief went the train in the northern ruins. She rode out there with her beloved sand seal Patricia. I'm worried though. There have been a lot of these strange monsters popping up in the world lately. But as worried as I am, this frustrating sand shroud makes it impossible to navigate the desert. The chief has an amazing sense of direction, but I'm not so lucky. So instead of traveling above ground, I was thinking of using this secret passage to get to the northern ruins. Uh. Ugh, I can't stop myself from worrying about the chief. I wish this foe would go and check on her for me. At least then I'd be able to rest a little easier. Well, that's what I'll do, for sure. But I need to explore around here some more first. So I guess that leads sort of out of this area. So long as the sand trout is around, we can't run out any sand seals. At this rate, my job might evaporate. Maybe I should start looking to, into becoming an attendant to Lady Riju's beloved sand seal, Patricia. Right now, Pata is looking after Patricia, but she's a soldier too. So I wouldn't be shocked if she had to help with all the strange monsters. If I'm serious about changing jobs, maybe this is my chance? Huh, maybe it is. I do also see a treasure chest in the sand here, so I'll open that up. Sorry for the noise. Purple rupee, whoa, okay. Gladly taking that one. And what's going on down here? What are these? We have different symbols on each of these. Could I go up from here and maybe there's something? Where does this lead? Uh, Nowhere in particular. We'll be looking around Gerudo Town a little bit more later, I'm sure. At least the above ground. Gerudo Town, what is with this? It's like circle, or no, that's a tier. Yeah, like the tier, arrow, circle, two circles. Little squiggly, fire, and then number two, pause, something like that. What is this? For my best interest, I should probably take a little photo of each. So take a picture of that, and then a picture of these three. And then lastly, I think there's just, yep, this one. Okay, so, cause maybe I can do something with that later. I'll definitely have to investigate it. But that's everything for this corner of the Rudo Town bunker, whatever you might want to call it. I guess that means we are good to cross into here. Whoa, a big cannon. There's so many people in here to talk to, oh my goodness. So many people. Hi. I understand what you're saying, but right now it's a luxury that we even get this much space in the shelter for training. It's only enough room for sparring, so that will have to do for now. But Captain Teak, we need the training area. Is there no way to get it opened back up for us? Training area? Oh, mm -hmm. oh you're the vote that the chief has allowed inside the town walls. If you're interested in the training area, you must be looking to refine your abilities, huh? Well, the Southern Oasis training area is where we've been working to improve our desert mobility. Physical strength is important in fighting, of course, but being able to easily navigate the desert is valuable too. In fact, I'd argue that maneuverability is the most important part of surviving in the desert. Oh. If you really think that, then we need to reopen the training area and get to work right away. No. I already said no, Sudri. If we underestimate how dangerous the desert is, we'll never live long enough to master it. Going out there and training in the sand shroud would just be throwing your life away. Until the sand shroud ends, we can't risk going into the training area. I won't allow it. Huh. Can we do anything more huh? with talking to you two? Captain Teak, our current training is just, isn't just enough to defeat the enemy. We need to go to the training area. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe I could go there though? Learn a thing or two? And what is with this? A lot of stuff blocked off. Can I break this open? I can. Whoa, it's gonna be one of these. Perfect. Mountain to seven, or monument to seven heroines. Okay, so we'll take a picture of it. I don't think I can read it myself, but we'll definitely bring that back to our friend. And maybe talk uh. to some of these, uh, Gerudo. Ugh, those Gibdos are a nuisance. They keep attacking us from the cover of the sand shroud. If it weren't for Lady Riju and her lightning strikes, we'd have been wiped out already. Ugh. We're supposed to be protecting her, not the other way around. What kind of guards are we? Crazy that they just sleep on the rocks like this. Lady Riju's lightning strikes clearly damage those monsters. I wonder, if I attach an electric Stalfos horn to this spear, would that be enough to let me fight back against them myself? But electric Lazalfos horns are valuable. I wonder if there's some other material I could attach in its place. 
Hmm. So we'll maybe try to make some electric stuff. That might help against his uh, Gibdos. Hey, don't even think about looking down on our noble guards, understand? Not only have they adapted to a brand new training regimen, one focused on mobility, but they've dove straight into battle without hesitation against the Gibdos. They have nothing if not their pride. A training regimen? I've only heard about it secondhand, but the guards have been training hard to improve their desert mobility. You see, some time ago, right when Lady Riju became chief, Gerudo Town faced a major crisis. After it was resolved, Lady Riju swore that our military forces would be prepared to face any new threats that came along. Unfortunately, that was a tougher task than anyone thought. Luckily, Lady Riju's close friend Princess Zelda came to visit. The princess suggested that the Gerudo learn to be more in touch with the desert itself. This inspired Lady Riju, and she proposed a new training regimen. At least, that's what I heard. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have helped against those Gibdo things. The Gibdos are strange monsters. Our spears didn't even scratch them when, when the guards tried to fight. I think I can't think of a time where monsters as ferocious as these prowled the desert. Even with the new training regimen, the troops went through, these monsters are too tough. Brute force won't help much if you run into them. Be clever. Better yet, think of some kind of new weapon to fight them. Definitely will. Uh. Ow, everything hurts. I guess I still can't move. Those things, it doesn't matter how many we took down, they just kept coming. Where in the world could they be, have been coming from now? Who knows? There's so many people around here, oh my gosh. So, of course, this is uh, Boaria, so we'll talk to them in a little bit again, but show them our, our, our real power. Hi. If you got something to say, please make it quick. After our humbling first encounter with the Gibdos, I realized that we needed to establish a new unit to combat them. The new unit is in the middle of training. They need to get into fighting shape fast since the enemy could strike at any time. First encounter? Yeah, the first time we fought the Gibdos, they had us on our heels the whole time. Numbers and strength were on their side. The best we could do was an organized retreat to protect the civilians. Most of the guards that held the Gibdos off are still recovering from their injuries. Hopefully this new unit can help us avenge our comrades and return to the surface. But first, they must finish training. What's the new unit? Ah. Well, the Gibdos did a serious number on us before. It was so bad that some of the guards who fought in the first encounter are still recovering from their wounds. I believe that the party, though that partly has to do with how hard it is to protect yourself while using a spear. Both hands are full, you see. So I've established a new unit that will use a sword and shield instead. They can better guard themselves that way. Mm. In that first encounter, well, if Lady Riju hadn't been there to, with her control of lightning, we might have been wiped out. All the more reason to get the new unit ready. We have to keep Lady Riju safe. Gotcha. We have this big cannon here this time. Ah, be careful. Can't you tell when someone is deeply focused on a dangerous task? Cannons demand the utmost care when handling. I may only be practicing right now, but if my hand slipped, I could set off the cannon. Huh? Don't talk to me again. It could be bad, really bad. Mm. Powder check, cannonball check, aim barrel target check. Finally, start the countdown. Three, two, one, fire. Yeah. But no, whoa. <laughs> oh, that's what's supposed to break it open. <sighs> Dangerous. Oh no, it, it went off. Hmm. Hey, Barta. This shelter is an important piece of our history. What are you doing firing that thing off down here? I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Huh? Hey, hey, this is your fault. Just unbelievable. This is exactly why we are so wary of Vow. Oh no, I've gotten in trouble, sorry. But I guess, you know, that's how we would have bro broken that open. We still have a couple more by to talk to you. Huh? Hey, Vo, if you need something, talk to me. I don't want you to get in the way of the sword and shield unit, okay? Okay, well, you don't actually have a sword or shield. I did everything I could to fight against the Gibdos with my spear, but it hardly left a scratch. They're incredibly hardy, and their numbers. If we don't pick them off fast, they'll surround and wipe us out. But if we want to win, I've got to hone my spear skills. Interesting. So let's take a picture of these if we have. And like, there's a picture of the Gerudo spear. Got it. And then over here, we got a picture of the Gerudo scimitar and the Gerudo shield already. Okay, cool. Bobby has been training hard since we fought the Gibdos. She's the one who told us that our spears wouldn't even leave a mark, though. Mm. The only thing that seemed to have any effect at all was Lady Riju's lightning strikes. Oh. Instead of practicing with our regular spears, should we be looking for a weapon that has electricity flowing through it? Ooh. Maybe, but if we bring it up to her right now, she'll tell us to pay attention to our own shortcomings. And if we're really unlucky, she'll drag both of us into her intense spear training, too. Oh. 
Gotcha. So that's Bobby right there. So I guess we're going to talk to you as well, where we have the Gerudo Claymore to take a picture of. Awesome. So yeah, let's talk a little bit more to uh, Bol Boliara. Everyone in town has been informed of the special exception you've been given. Some may still be shocked to see you, but don't take it personally. And of course, feel free to make use of our inn or any of the shops. The Lady Riju is away, seeking a means to defeat the Gibdo. I'm sure she would welcome you as I have. Oh. Did you have questions for me? Where is Riju? Oh. Lady Riju is training in the ruins north of here. She traveled there despite the challenges the Sand Trap represents. She's proven herself to be an excellent leader, an excellent chief. Still, I think I'll always worry about her safety. Is there anything else you wanted to ask? Tell me about Gibdos. The Gibdos are strange monsters that recently appeared, right around the same time as the Sand Trout. The spears we wield have surprisingly little effect on them. We've been trying to figure out new ways to fight back. Okay, got you. And whoa, we can definitely take a picture of this, right? Or not? Huh. I figured this would be one of them. There's writing all over this thing. I guess not quite. Uh, what if we like had it up from here? This seems like it might be like a fancy area. Might not lead to anything. Okay, yeah, we're just in the middle of the desert. Okay, heading back down. So we've explored what I think is the majority of Gerudo Town now. I don't think there's really anything left. We went down that way. Couldn't really find anything more besides the path to Gerudo Town. Well, actually, no, we haven't been down here at all. Oh my gosh, there's so much. This place is huge. Um. What's going on in this room? Oh. This is the jail. Even though you have special permission to be in Gerudo Town, I still won't let you pass this point. Really, the only way in the jail is to break our rules. Though we're normally not allowed inside our town, the one in, in, the, in jail broke that rule, so he's locked up. And even though you have permission to be here, if you break the rules, you'll join him in jail. Oh no. So who's in there? Hi, uh, can I talk to you? Maybe? Wait, no wait. I'm sort of falling, but this is not what I want. Can I climb up? And then just, it gave me like a second where I can maybe sort of chat with them. Weird. Let's just try to get a little bit closer. I, it's okay, I'm not quite tall enough for that one. Uh, let's talk to you. A man? You must be that man, I mean Vo, that everyone is talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. So you really did get special permission to be in here, huh? All the same, you should still be on your best behavior. You wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's what normally happens when men come here. I guess just like that one. <laughs> like what happened to that guy over there. But I don't think you have anything to worry about as long as you behave. <laughs> anyway, this is important. Since you've been allowed in town, you absolutely have to try the spa plan at Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Roma, has a special technique that is all the rage. Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now, I work here as an assistant. <laughs> uh -huh. The spa plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option too. But well, just keep in mind that it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. Interesting. Is this a ladder? Doesn't really lead to anything. The spa plan is unbelievable. Uh -huh. You're the chief's guest, right? Since it's a special occasion, would you like to try my spa plan? Uh -huh. I used to run a shop on the surface, but what with that, with the sand shroud and the, those monsters appearing, the guard told me to evacuate. I had six months worth of reservations booked, but obviously those haven't been happening. I'm a bit out of practice. Uh -huh. But good news for you, I guess. You, you can rest, or you can take advantage of the spa plan without having to wait. How about it? Do you want to rest here? Sure, the standard stay is 20 rupees and the spa plan is 50 rupees. Let's do the spa plan, but let's hear a little bit more about it. You're not familiar with the spa plan? Oh, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. A Vo wouldn't know much about our town after all. <laughs> anyway, the spa plan we offer will fill you with energy and a truly unique feeling of resilience to great dangers. And as an extra bonus, it'll feel like years of worry have been washed away, leaving your skin bright and smooth. Show me someone who wouldn't appreciate that, and I'll show you someone who's wrong. <laughs> uh -huh. Intriguing, right? Would you, what do you think? So we'll go ahead and do the spa plan. <laughs> if we do the spa plan and wake up to another blood moon, the spa plan it is, hee <laughs> hee, I'm so excited to get to work. Oh, and of course, you can choose when you'd like to wake up, or your wake up call to be. I'm thinking in the morning. Ah. Savor. Okay, so, ah. oof, look at all these scars. You must have fought a lot in your life. Don't worry, I'll help your tired body recover. Yeah. <laughs> 
Link sounds very relaxed. I'm glad. Okay, no blood beam. That's great. And we get two extra golden hearts and an extra stamina wheel. Are you more rested and revitalized? Come back whenever you feel tired. Hello. Wait, what? A foe? No way! Sound the alarm! Guards! No, 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 I'm allowed here. Don't worry. What's that? You have special permission from the chief? Well, that explains that, and sorry for shouting. Wait, maybe a foe could endure my spa plan practice? <laughs> okay, Mr. Vo, if you don't mind, would you consider helping me with my spa plan practice? I call it practice, but I can guarantee that I, it will make your body feel good as new. Don't worry about that. But, and this is what I'm still working on, if, th if I get things just right, you'll feel a boost of energy just like with the owner's spa plan. The apprentice spa plan is only 25 rupees. That's half the owner's plan cost, you know. Uh, so I'll get another heart? Sark, so how long would you like to relax for? I guess until morning, just to so give everything a try. Okay, I've got to put all my focus, all of my power into this. Mm -hmm. I've mostly worked on Vi, so let me know if I'm pressing too hard. Oh no, <laughs> was that a crack? <laughs> Link, are you okay? She might've broke something. But all right, we're back. How was that? Well, you might not be fully relaxed, but you seem to be less tired at least. <laughs> Clearly, I still have a lot of practice ahead of me, so come back anytime. Yeah, I don't know if that was really worth it. <laughs> Anyways, we got some ghost goat butter we can take. If it's there, might as well. Um, Nobody over this way. Oh, there's more of these boxes. I'll use those to climb up in just a second. No, come on, get up here. There you go. So who is this? Huh? Oh. You're the Vo. Uh, Sorry, I don't have time to deal with the Vo right now. All of my attention needs to be on preparing the welcome of our out of town Vi. The soundtrack is ma making things difficult. Out of town Vi? Mm. I suppose I can tell you. After all, your situation is unique. As it happens, young Gerudo aren't traditionally allowed to interact with Vo. And for Vi born outside of town, when they reach a certain age, they're summoned back to Gerudo town. Uh. That small Vi over there is named Aklet. She recently arrived here along with her mother, Perda. Mm. But Perda started working at one of the shops, one that has a complicated re relationship with the town. So she is rarely in the shelter anymore. <sighs> that must be why Aklet spends so much time looking at that drawing on the wall over there. Ah. Thankfully, this town is like one big family. I'm sure that little one will get used to living here soon enough. I sure hope so. We'll get some free oil as well. Okay, see, so let's, what's going on around here then? Who can we help with? Hey, don't look now, but that foe is watching us, right? Uh, I think you're right, but I've just started with the foe in new class, so I'm not sure what to do about it. Mm. Well, for now, mm. pretend not to notice. <laughs> Sorry, what happens if we do it again? Uh, hey, don't look now, but that's a foe watching us, right? Okay, so uh, it's the same thing. Mm. Uh, mm. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> I'm just looking at the picture. Hey, you're a foe, aren't you? So the rumors were true. There's a foe in town. You don't look like the foe dummies from the Vo new class though. But I guess you'll look, you'll look like how I imagine a Vo looks. Anyway, I'm Pearl. Oh, so this isn't who I thought it was. I'm Pearl, nice to meet you. Oh. This is Aklet. She's a Vi who's become my sister recently. Okay, so Aklet's the one napping. Well, I mean, not like my blood-related sister, but I think of her like she's family. <laughs> By the way, my actual older sister is a scholar. Isn't that incredible? I think that I'll become a scholar too when I grow up. That's cool. I think Lent. Mommy works secret map. Secret map? Whoa. Yeah, what's up with, okay, no, all the wrong buttons. Hold on, I just wanna pull up my camera. This is interesting. So there's some kind of secret map and what is this? So I'll have to keep that in mind because that's certainly something. Okay, back over here. I mean, it is morning, so I wanna, I wanna help out with the jail situation and I also know that the Vo and you class should have other students there now that it's morning, right? I think. Oh, nobody's here quite yet. So maybe I can talk to you again. <laughs> Sometimes I think about the students that recently graduated from this class. They set out to explore the world and possibly find the foe of their dreams, but they aren't exactly seasoned travelers. I hope they're okay. Last I heard, they were near outskirts stable. I'm sure everything is going fine. Didn't we run into a few of those? I think so. Oh. You weren't here before, were you? you you're a real foe, right? I am indeed. Really? Are you telling the truth? I learned in the class that all though look like to lie though. Huh? Hey, Kalani, you better not be talking to that though. Why don't you follow Makura's 
McCurr's example. Be more like your sister. <laughs> it's fine, I haven't made eye contact, so it's all fine. <gasps> Ugh, of all the things you could have learned to do at your age, why is arguing the one you've taken such a liking to? Sorry. So this is McCurr. Ah, Vo! Little, little Gerudo aren't supposed to talk to Vo. And, a little, and I'm a little Gerudo, so that means I have to stop talking to you now. Did he leave already? <laughs> ah, eye contact! And the eyes are close to the mouth, and that mouth is where I'd be speaking from if I talked to that bow. Ah, I've got to hurry to the bow new class so I can ask how to talk to a bow. Sorry, I'll leave you to be. Okay, so they haven't quite started the class yet. I want to get back over here and pick up one of these. Sorry, sorry. Dawn's in a bunch of trouble over here, right? But attach that there, and then maybe I'm high enough to talk to you? Yeah. Hey, wait. You're a guy, aren't you? How come you're able to just walk around? Why haven't they arrested you? It's no secret that the Gerudo rigidly enforced their law that forbids men from entering the town. So how come you're able to just walk around without causing a fuss? I mean, mm. I barely crossed the threshold between the town and, and desert. They threw me in jail faster than I could say, no wait, not jail. They didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. I just wanted to see the, the faces of my wife, Perta, and our daughter, Aklet. No way. Okay, but, and I'm only telling you this because you seem to like a tr trustworthy sort. I've actually seen my daughter a few times, so on average, I'm more happy than upset. Oh. Even though they have me in this jail, I do see her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife even once. I know she was planning to work at a clothing store in Gerudo Town, but that's all I've got. I'm sure my daughter could tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Perta, Aklet, I know we'll be together again soon. I think I understand that. Whoa, wait a minute, this, this is a whole nother room I didn't notice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but, Aklet was over here. This must lead to Perda's shop. <whistles> Sorry, I keep whistling. Um, this might, must lead to Perda's shop somehow. I don't exactly know the setup, but we'll have to try to figure that out soon so we can help them all out. In the meantime, what's going on down here? Hi. Oh, you must be the Vo everyone's been talking about. Now, normally I wouldn't have anything for youngsters like you, but I've heard a new Vi is going to be coming to town sometime soon, and that news sparked a fire in me. I came up with a special version of my signature drink. It's one everybody from Vivi to Vaba can enjoy. Mm. However, I can't get my hands on what I need to make it while we're stuck here, and I don't want, want to forget the recipe. <sighs> when is the shroud, sand shroud going to clear up anyways? Huh, maybe we can help out with that. There's a lot more people to talk to in here. So you know that foe that's been locked up in jail? Oh. oh yeah, that's the one that the sand shroud, that used the sand shroud to try to sneak into town? Oh. What about him? Mm. A little while ago, I went to grab something from that shelf over there. And while I was standing there, I swear I heard someone say Aklet. Huh? Hey, I've heard Aklet before. I think that's the name of Perda's Vevi. Mm. You know, the jail is just on the other side of that wall. The wall behind the shelf, I mean. Mm. I've been wondering if maybe it's Perda's husband locked up in there. Mm? If that was the case, Perd would have realized it by now, though, wouldn't she? Uh. She's working at the Grudo Secret Club, so she's not in the shelter. Maybe that's why she hasn't heard? <sighs> Most everyone has been avoiding eye contact with this foe, including me. Huh. Complicated. <sighs> uh, I thought I could turn my back on past loves and focus on finding the perfect foe for me, but the Shannon Shred means I can't even go in outside. Mm. Talk about unlucky in love. Oh yeah, we talked to you before, you're still so depressed. Well, wait a minute. What's going on back here? Hold on, nobody, nobody noticed that I'm about to do this, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm going in. What's back here? Whoa. Oh, maybe this is to the secret shop. You get a red rupee there too. Nice, green rupee, blue rupee, tons of cash. Whoa, don't mind if I do. And then if we head up from here, I'm really curious to see if this will lead to anything. Hey, okay. I'm in here with you, whoa. Huh? You, where did you come from? It must be nice to be able to come and go as you please. Meanwhile, I'm just in this cell. It isn't all bad though. I'm able to see my daughter Aklet every day, from a distance anyway, mm. but I haven't seen Perda at all. It's been a little rough on, on the old spirit. She told me once that she planned to work at a clothing store in Gerudo Town, but I haven't seen her walking by. Aklet probably knows something. If only I could speak to her. No one likes a loud, annoying prisoner. Still, while I'm curious, as long as they're both happy and healthy, I'm happy too. What a great husband and father. And oh, another one of these to take a picture of. That's two out of four taken care of. Awesome. Guess there isn't too much more for me to do here. Can I leave? Hello? No. What? 
How'd you get in there? That's obviously a jail cell, not a place for visitors. Only prisoners are supposed to be in there, like that foe who tried to get into town. But you, you're the chief's guest, aren't you? The fact that you got in there on purpose or by accident without me knowing would be embarrassing, so get out of there before anyone sees you. Come on. All right, well, with that, We've got some quests set up. We have a lot going on here. Garuda Town is a very, very interesting place, but I think we'll have the saves exploring more of it, either it be above ground or farther towards um, the Chief for the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.